Hey, what's up, guys? This is Alex Drops again. How you doing? This is a new video I made of a new creation. Um, it's pretty nice, I think. I made a regular video about it, and this is going to be the tutorial. Basically, sit in. It looks like a pull, pull the switch, and now it's a hot tub. Very, very simple tutorial. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a pretty good one. So let's get started. Get out of my way, tree! I'm trying to make a video. Just right. All right, what's up, guys? This is Alex Drops here, and I'm be showing you an awesome video tutorial again, guys. This is going to be very simple. It's going to be how to make a controllable hot tub. Because <coughs> we all love hot tubs, right? I've always wanted a hot tub, but I've never been able oh, to afford one. Yeah, sad. Anyway, this is pretty simple. Um, what you're gonna need is some redstone, some pistons. Um, some material, what you want to make your hot tub out of. You're going to need a bucket, or two buckets of water, rather. Um, said redstone, some netherrack, some flint and steel, and some glass. And I think I covered everything right there. As I just made my thing a little nicer. Um, you're going to want a pretty flat area for this. It might take up a tiny bit of room underground, but it's only four wide above ground. So it should be pretty simple. What you want to do is uh, dig down a uh, two by two hole in the ground, just that wide. If you don't know what two by two is, and I want you to dig down five blocks. There's two, three, four. What? For reals? All right, whatever. We're gonna improvise. And one, two, three, four. I guess this would be five. Don't you hate caves? This is screwing everything up, but we're gonna, yeah, like I said, one for those. Well, number one, Minecraft, do not dig down. But you're gonna have to if you wanna make this. And so, yeah, this should be five, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four, five. And once you dig down five blocks, you wanna place another rack on those four right there and then you're good for that part now you want to dig two down in a pattern like this or oh, three like that on that side and then the exact opposite side do the same exact thing dig two um just like that this case is quite annoying it might be a little challenging for the redstone but we'll we'll improvise all right Let's find our pistons here, and what we're going to do is do the piston part now. I'm going to put down two pistons on both of those sides, like so. And you're going to have to find a way to get to the back of the piston, so I'm just going to dig around, get through there. Stupid cave. And um, what you're going to do is dig like this, dig two above the piston and like this. So basically what you're going to want to do is put the redstone above here, it has to be above, if you put the redstone right here it won't work, you got to put it above for whatever reason, like this, and it has to be like this, diagonal to the piston. Alright, then continue it down to about here. And as simple as that, and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You do not need an inverter for this because we are using a lever. If we, if you want to use a button, which I don't know why you'd want to do, because then your hot tub wouldn't stay open at all. But for whatever reason you want to use a button, then you'd have to hook up an inverter. But yeah, that seems pretty pointless to me. So whatever. So again, we're above the piston to the diagonal, and let's lay our redstone should come down here and we can connect to that one if we want. Now we're like this. We're gonna have to dig to the side a little bit because we're gonna make this a wall and we can't have redstone going through it. So just dig through over and destroy this so then uh, we can make this a wall. Like 
like so. And so now what you want to do is come back out and find out where you want to make your um, button at to open the hot tub. And since my redstones are here, I guess you can make it on any side you really want, but I'm going to make it right here. And so let me get my lever. Say I want it right there. Um, dig down two. Dig down. Oh. Sorry, guys. Contagion makes me lag a little bit. <laughs> and put it there. And dig that one down. And here is my redstone that I laid out. And what we're gonna have to do is put it right under this block. And to do that, we might have to elevate it a little bit. Um, do this. And so, if we just put a block here. All right. So now what we did is our lava's there, and directly one block below below it is our first thing, redstone. <clears throat> and that redstone connects to the redstone, which connects to the pistons. Which makes the thing open. Very simple. If you need any help, just leave a comment. Because for some people, redstone's like the most confusing thing ever. And I might do a redstone tutorial soon, I'm not sure yet. Anyway, you can fall back into your hole and make whatever material you want to come in and out. I'm going to use. What could I use? Don't use anything flammable or glass. Anything else is fine. I'll use iron. And just put that right over top of the pistons. And let's test this thing out. As you can see, they close like that, and they are good to go. When you click it, they'll open. Now, get your flint and steel out. This might be challenging for you, not in creative mode, but I can cheat a little bit. And light those all four netheracks on fire. Then one block above where you put your piston things, put glass. Glass panes will work, but you want glass. So then when you close it, looks like a normal thing. When you open it, look down, you got the blazing hot fire. Hope you guys like this video. Um, very simple. And I love the comfort of my new hot tub. Oh, wow, I'm not done. Yeah, we kind of need the water. Yeah, there we go. Now it's a hot tub. So I call it hot tub. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave your suggestions, thoughts, opinions, government conspiracies. I don't really care what you want to leave in the comments, but leave some feedback if you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you later.